Good afternoon, and um, oops, turn this around. Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. Um, I got me a crane miter cutter. Um, I figure anything to save a person from getting up and down, this is what I got right there. And as you can see on the screen there, these corners, they look really nice right there. See that? So I have not used it yet. I just got this thing today. Those corners look really nice. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's cool. I, that's what the guy at the carpet store, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. The guy at the carpet store told me about these or I asked about them and uh, he's like, yeah, so-and-so did uh, like a thousand feet and never had to get a saw out of the truck. So I do a lot more quarter round here. How's it going? TE60. I do a lot more quarter round here than I do in Tucson. And already I have <clears throat> had to make multiple trips, multiple trips to my house because I, I can't carry everything on my on my van at once and sometimes I don't know that I'm going to have trim to do. I don't know that I'm going to have quarter round or something like that. So multiple times already since I've been here, I've had to run back out to my house and grab my saw and go back to the job. So hopefully this will prevent, um, this is going to prevent me from running back and forth, going to keep me from getting up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, done really good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Been using them for 10 years. They are great. Awesome. Well, I'm fixing to put them to the test right here. Thank you, Jared. I really do appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for being so faithful to you always on my live streams, and I really appreciate that, okay? Thank you so much. Um, I I'm going to do a, a demo right here with these. I'm going to make some cuts, and I'm going to see if I can get them. I've not used them. I've not even did a straight cut. Uh, you can switch the blade on those. Yeah, uh, the guy at the carpet store told me that they was... Every pretty much everything on them was replaceable, so that's good. Yeah, thank you, Jared. Thank you, Trevor, for picking up on this. I appreciate that, honey. She's not here, and she's been working a lot, so she's not been able to. Uh, hi, Tracy. I hope all of you guys um, have went and subscribed to Gardening with Tracy. Um, I got me some of these, too, because I haven't had... I hear a lot of good things about these and the tops of my feet and my shins hurt a lot. So I thought I would try these. They are made a lot thicker and uh, hopefully it'll, it'll keep me off my shins so much. I'm doing really well, Tony, thank you for asking. So I will get to try out these for the first time as I am trying out that miter maybe if it's not too complicated right here for me to get these set up because i don't want to spend 15 minutes to getting them adjusted and stuff to fit me right at this moment so we'll see how it works out here uh it's a little bit snug but it'll work i guess for right now okay With lots of good reviews on these in fact, I don't think I've seen a single bad review on them, and I know a lot of you guys wear them, um, so I thought I'd give them a try, see how they work. Thank you. I'm, I've heard, like I said, I've heard lots of good things about them, so thank all you guys for uh, your feedback on stuff. I appreciate it. And I got this uh, six six seventy three. Uh, vinyl plank cutter as well. I ain't even opened it up yet. I've been working two day, too much, so I ain't had a chance to do nothing. Shout out to the YouTube channel Gardening with Tracy. Yes, y'all go check her out. <laughs> so I got this quarter round right here, and I'm gonna go in the kitchen, and we're gonna uh, try to make a 45 cut, and maybe some 22 and a half degree cuts, and maybe some inside and outside corners. So let's go check it out and let's see if they do it. Now I've not cut this whatsoever. You're welcome, Tracy. Thanks for joining in. I've not used these whatsoever. I've not made a single cut with these. Maybe I can do that right here, right now before I get all up and everything. 
and I hope they're not too tough to mess with because I don't want to look like a big weakling on here. Anyway, let's see if I can make a straight off cut there. Okay. Well, that was not too bad, and that is actually a pretty clean cut. Um, you can see the inside of it got just a little bit boogered up right there and right there. So let's go make some miters and see how it works out. I'll come in here where I got a corner to work with and we'll see what goes. So I've heard a lot of people talk about these uh, pro knees that they move around and stuff when you're walking and it did not move around on me none as I just walked in here. Like I said, this is the very first time I've used these knee pads or this cutter, so. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I got a corner. Uh, right there, I'm gonna take this and make a cut and see how clean it cuts and go from there. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's the, the, um, I can't even think. Uh, Max, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna try inside corner first. Oh my goodness, that was perfect. Look at that. Look at that. That is a beautiful cut. So now let me uh, make the opposite cut. Let's see here. Just gonna take me a second to get the hang of this. Okay, so okay. Now let me do um right there. Okay, they're actually not too tough to use either, and I think that's gonna be pretty good. I don't know how it's going to join up there. Actually, that's not too bad. Let's check it out right here. Yeah, don't worry about the vinyl. We're we're getting ready to. Uh, we actually got new flooring already paid for. We just got to get it and get it installed. So let's check this corner out here. Okay, so that is that is an acceptable corner. Oops. Get my fingers out of the way. Get that there. Okay. Can you see that? That would be. Uh, that would be okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That would be okay there. And anytime you're doing white and stuff like that, you always caulk anyway. Now, as far as um, <clears throat> a wood where there's no caulking or anything like that involved. I don't know, even though that's what they showed on the on the picture there. So maybe it would or maybe it wouldn't. Let me try an inside corner now. Uh, let's see here. Oh boy, that one felt really good. Ruben crossed those straps. Yeah, yeah, I just didn't want to uh, take the time to do that right now. Okay, so that's a beautiful corner right there too. Let me turn this around here. Get where you can see this. So this made a really, really nice uh, inside corner there. Look at that. That worked out really nice. So these things are gonna be really good and a time saver. Um, I don't know about the 20, <coughs> excuse me. A 22 and a half. I don't like that whenever you, uh, let me get these up here. One thing I don't like about them, uh, then use the white chuck. Oh, I don't know what you mean there, Tony. Um, so when you get right here on the 22 and a half, you, it don't let it, I'm sorry, it don't let it come all the way back. If you have it lined up there, you have to have it actually a little bit away from it, which I don't really like that. I wish you could get it to come all the way back right there. That way it would just pivot for you. But in order to get, I'm sorry, I wish it go all the way back to where you could just pivot like so and get your angle right. <laughs> Dang. Jared. <laughs> 
How much was that crank tool? Uh, $39. Thank you for that. Again, I appreciate that. But in order to get this on the 22 and a half degree uh, cut, you have to actually hold it away from this inside a little bit. Rather, it won't just pivot on that back uh, rest right there and go. So I wish that it would. It would be a little bit more convenient. But either way, let's try the 22 and a half degree cut. Okay, go the other way there. Miss FBSB just walked in the house. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm getting confused here. I think I need to do this way again. I'll definitely have to get used to these if they're going to be a time saver for sure. Okay, I got that cut. I got a 22 and a half degree angle right here under my cabinets. Let's check it out and see how it did there. Um, let's see. Right here. Okay. Well, it's hitting the caulking. Somebody actually run caulking down behind that whenever they put this vinyl in because they didn't trim it. And what it's doing is hitting that caulking right there so it's not letting it go all the way back there. But anyway, you can see that and, and I think that is definitely going to be acceptable. Even if the caulking was not there, it would allow that to go tighter together. Let's just pull it out and look right there. Okay, so you see that? That would definitely be passable to do so i think it's a yay i definitely think these are a yay turn this back around here so i have made multiple cuts uh, inside outside uh 22s 22 and a half with these and they are really easy to use we'll do it again let's just do a straight off straight off cut there and See what happens there. Look at that. Okay. Um, let's look at the look at the wood right there on the 22 and a half degree cut. The outside of those each time are nice and clean. You can see a little bit of chomping up right there on the inside, but as far as the outside, um, hit melt glue. Yeah, uh, that's what I do. I do the exact same thing. Let's check that out right there. As a matter of fact, let's try that out. So I'm going to make an inside 45 cut because I usually do that quite often. So we'll see how that works out there, uh, Wayne. Okay. This is a, I can imagine that this would be really nice for these as clean as it cuts it off there. Let's see, right. This is a little slow. I had to get used to it, like I said. I think I got a little bit short, but anyway. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay, so. Right there it is. See my, oops. I don't know how to position that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's see here. Let me turn this around. I can probably do it better if I see it like this. Okay, so yeah, there, there we go. Now that, well, that's just a butt end. That's how you stop your trim. Like if you was on the edge of, uh, working up to the edge of something that didn't have a, a door jam or something like that you would want to cap your base off like that right there so and yeah that worked real good and exactly like wayne said there from smart floors using the hot melt glue gun works perfect for that so i'm really excited i'm glad to have this <laughs> thank you wayne um really excited about and by the way these 
um, pronies feel really good. Really happy with them too. So I had to get them adjusted and get them all ready for me. So uh, these things did a really good job. Really happy with them. I was uh, somebody actually told me about them about a week ago, and i not. And when I was there at this carpet store this morning, uh, the gentleman actually said I seen three pair of them in there. I was like, "Ooh, are they any good?" He's like, "Yeah." So I was like, "Let me get a pair of them." So I got a pair, and I was curious to try them out because I've never used them there before. So, um, and I'm happy with them. They worked out real good. Um, I guess I can go ahead and open this up. I got a, you're going to love those, my friend. Cool. Thank you, Wayne. I hope so. I hope it saves me a lot of time. I'll go ahead and open this up. Uh, Jared right here is that product actually on tools for flooring right there. It is 3966 is what it runs. And like somebody said a while ago, you can get replacement blades right there is your actually is actually the replacement blade for that so and I took your advice I think I told you the other day Jared and got the um, 673 I think is what it is and it's right here I have not even opened it up yet so I might as well open it up while I'm here with you guys in case anybody wants to see the see what it looks like how it comes in the box or whatever I don't know, some people like to see stuff like that, so might as well go ahead and open it up. I get the staples in the box, but it's really rough to open. Now I've not I've only had one of these in my life and I did not I wasn't too happy with it. I was working with a really thick laminate. It wasn't this particular model, but I was working with a really thick laminate. And it, I didn't like the way it made it fat. It swelled up and made it fat whenever you made your cuts. So I took it back to the warehouse that I bought it from, the supply warehouse. And I like this right here because um, I plan on doing some uh, fancy stuff out here in my studio whenever I get it completed. And this miter is going to be really good. That's one of the reasons that, um, that's one of the things that sent me on it was that. Okay, so it was really packaged well. You can see it had this in there like that to keep it from sliding around and all that good stuff. Dag gum, Jerry. <laughs> you man. Dag gum. Thank you again. <laughs> Golly. Never had nobody do it three times ever. Um, so it comes with a little wet rock right here too. Looks like to sharpen your blade. I don't know how good I am at that. I've never been good at sharpening, not even knives. So, uh, I don't know how good I'll be at that. But anyway, it comes with a little wet rock right there for sharpening the blade on this. And this is definitely a heavy duty mamma jamma right here. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It feels real good and heavy. Um, it's got wheels on the back of it right there. I like that. It's got a stopper. The stopper wheels right there, and I guess that, so you could raise the front of it up and slide it or whatever, I guess. I've not used this before, like I said, so this is all kind of new to me. But I need to stop getting up and down so much. So if this will keep me from running back and forth to the saw or even bearing down, like you guys have seen me so many in all of my LVP videos. As a matter of fact, I use my little framing square, and you got to bear down pretty good on that the grip on your hand uh my hands will be killing me at the end of the day so that's the reason why i wanted to get this because i preached it and preached it myself in my videos and i gotta start doing it myself rather than just preaching it i gotta practice what i preach so i gotta start doing stuff that's gonna that's going to uh make it easier on me so i like that too it's got uh, a double adjustment right there you see the handle right there? It works just like a stretcher pole. I'm pushing the button right there. Really nice and easy to function with. And it's got two adjustments for longer for leverage and shorter if it's not so hard to cut, I guess. Right there. And then you can push it in to make the handle shorter. So that's pretty nice. Um, again, I'll turn this around right there. You can 
can see the number crane six i think you can see crane 673 woodcutter so i'm excited to use that and it's got the roller right over here on the side of it there i don't know if you can see that or not let's see see that so that's going to be real nice and i'm really excited about this not all of them had this and um, I got some of those you guys seen here while back I did an unboxing uh, some of those really fancy um, Really fancy little trim pieces. I got from the UK Hi, how you doing? Uh, thank you for tuning in there uh, Manuel Well, that's very nice Thank you. I will trade you mine a little <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's okay. I, I'm kind of excited about it. That's my first one uh, first one there so um yeah i got some really nice transition pieces or uh lvp uh decorative pieces and stuff like that that came in the mail from the stair rods uk you guys seen maybe a couple of months ago i did that uh unboxing and i want to do some real fancy stuff with this show the floor where they are actually popping out oh never mind <laughs> I got stuff popping up over here in my other comment section on other videos and I thought that was here. Never mind. Anyway, yeah, I want to do some real nice stuff. So this miter is going to be good. You guys seen the little bitty strips that goes in between those? Let me see here. I still got that stuff right here under my desk. So um, I got a little stuff under my desk and that's where I've kept these. So this is what I want to do. So that is why I got this one that has the miters on it. So I'm really psyched up about that. I want to do some of this in my model home and put it on my website and advertise it and stuff like that. So um, hopefully I can start uh, getting some really high-end jobs and stuff is the hopes anyway. So that was the reason why I got this one with the miter plus the recommendations from you awesome gentlemen that tune in all the time to my live streams and answer my posts and stuff like that because I was completely in the dark on which one to get, which one was good and stuff like that. Like I said, how's it going, Sean? I hope your job went well. I didn't have a chance to talk to you on that uh, other big job where you just said you did like 22,000 square feet or something. Good on that. So really good job there. <clears throat> anyway, I'm psyched up about this. You guys have done heard me say that. I'm really happy with these. These are a yay. You guys seen the title, yay or nay? Definitely a yay on these. <clears throat> Definitely a yay on the, uh, the um, I guess I left them in the kitchen. The knee pads, and I've tried those out. And I am really excited to use this crane cutter. So thank you guys so much for using. Thank you, sweetie. These are really good too. Somebody asked me which ones there was a while ago. They are the AP16 uh, Pro Knee. So uh, they're not the long ones. Some of them, they made them that went all the way down the leg. And I thought I better try these out first. Um, if I have to get more, then maybe I will go to them. I was wondering, does anybody have those long ones that go all the way down the leg? Anybody that's tuned in here, do they have those? Uh, worst carpet expert and go coast. They need to be here <laughs> uh, Doing good. How about you? Okay, max speed. You got to max the ones that go all the way down your knee. I mean all the way down to your shin um, I was wondering the part on those. Let me look right here. I want to ask you a question if you got that right there uh, I'm gonna turn this around right here. Those are the ones that I got uh, t60 is the AP 16s? Those are the exact ones that I got. So I want to look at um, knee pads right here. I want to, I want to ask you something about those. Is that right there, uh, Max B? Can you see this right here? Is this an actual pad that goes down there on your shin? Is that what that is, or is it just part that straps on there? I don't know if it's an actual part of the pad. Is it cushioned right there? Because in the picture that it shows the guy standing there with him. I can't tell, I can't make out if it is a pad right there or if it's just a strap or something. Yes, small pad for your ankles. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. That's perfect. That's exactly, 
I think I've showed you guys in my in my video um, uh, the best shoes in, for the installer or something like that. I can't remember. That's awesome. Um, anyway, the tops of my feet are worse than my knees or anything like that. So the tops of my feet and my shins really, they're definitely worse than my knees. So I wished I had to know that I should have asked you guys before I, before I done that, cause I would have bought those. They are definitely more expensive, but that would have benefited the most important part of me. How's it going, David Hill? Thanks for joining in the live stream here. I appreciate it. Um, well, I don't know a whole lot. I'm gonna just, um, somebody throw a random number out there. I'll pick a number. All right, pick a number, honey. I'm fixing to do a giveaway and whatever number she picks out. I'm gonna write it down. Okay. I'm gonna do a little giveaway here. I'm gonna get on my. What's the number between? Uh, I have no idea. There's been plenty of comments. So uh, just uh, pick one. What I'm gonna do, whatever number she finds, whoever commented on that number is going to get what I got to give away here. I'm trying to figure out how to get on my daggum live stream here on my computer. I usually do that. So I can keep up with the comments easier. Oh, I bet I need to reload the page. I got it wrote down right here. Okay, she's got something written down there. Okay, so yes, it says that I'm live right here. So let me click on that. Turn the volume down so it don't mix me up. Get rid of all this stuff here. Okay, um, what number you got, sugar? All right, oh, they're still writing numbers. That's right. okay. Are we ready? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 77. Oh, dang, you picked a big number. So I got to go down here and number 77, if I even got 77 comments. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, I, did, I thought I was just picking a number. <laughs> that's why I said number between what? Well, that's going to be a little much. I don't know if I got 77 comments or not. Max B said 77. Somebody said 88. Somebody said 420. I don't, I don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> yeah. See, they're thinking the same thing, that you just pick a number and one yeah. of the numbers closest to the number I pick. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's going to be too big. Anyway, I done messed that all up. I should have gave her a better idea. Let me think of something else to do there. I don't want to even look at the comments now. So, um, You tell me and I'll stand right here. I mean, I'll... I want to still be visible, that way nobody knows, everybody knows I'm... Okay, well just do one kind of a low number. Kind of a low number there. Just... It don't matter. I got my screen pulled up there so she can't... So she can't see the comments, okay? So are you like, are you like picking... What a, a number and you're going to go to that comment? And that's who's going to get... Yes, okay. I'm going to pick a number she's going to pick a number and then i'm going to go to that comment and whoever commented on this number is going to get the giveaway so okay. what number is it 23 dang gum trevor you're making me count a lot <laughs> well there's a lot of comments i'm not going to just go with the first okay. one you got to give it one two let's see here i'm going to turn this around here so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name right there. You see that? Uh, Ed Dorado. Ed Dorado. Cinerosa or something. Yeah. See that where my cursor is? If you're still live here with us, can you say something there? Ed Dorado, right. Uh, right there where my cursor is. How's it going, Carpet Man? Right here. Edorado. Uh, okay, if he's not going to claim it, uh, we're going to do something else because I want to do somebody that's live here right now. Okay, so another number? Yeah. We'll do number 13. Okay, whoever's 13 then. 
we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, well, that turned out to be Jared. <laughs> You're well-deserved anyway, Jared. So, um, um, if you'll message me on Facebook, Jared, I'm sure you're still on here. You're on here all the time, and I appreciate that. Um, if you'll message me on Facebook, I want to send you this. You do a lot of commercial work, if I, if I ain't mistaken. Uh, I'll send you this commercial row finder, okay? I don't have Facebook. All right, well, um, um, all right, my, my thing's all over. My phone number's all over anyways. Text me your address, 520-351-1526, okay? 520 520- Three five one one five two six. Text me your address and I'll send this to you. Okay. Okay. I'll hang on there for you. <laughs> yeah. I don't like to put my phone number out here, but it's all right, I guess, because it's I got it on my, on Google and everything else, so I guess it's okay. Because it's on my website, I'm sure. So. Tell me when you're ready. It's five two zero three five one. One five two six. Trying to find a pen. Okay. <laughs> five two zero three five one one five two six. Still have my Arizona number. I ain't switched my phone over yet because I got a lot of people uh, still calling me, thinking I'm still living there. So I got one particular guy in Arizona that I refer all my work to. So I told him I would give about a year of keeping this number and then I would switch it over and that'll pretty much give a chance for everybody that calls me back regular time. Yeah, it's a great tool. I use it all the time. So I only I will only be giving away stuff that I use myself because I know that they're going to be good. I know that they're beneficial and stuff like that. So I got these. Um, okay, my battery just hit 20% there. I got those and um, The next giveaway will be my favorites right here. This will be the next time I give away something will be these. And um, Mr. Christian Wilson was the winner last time of the nail bags. And when he, he messaged me there and he said he had just bought some. So I still have these. All four of these bags, I will be... <laughs> I'll give those away. <laughs> Maybe after the row finders. David Hill join into my live streams because that's when I'm going to be doing giveaways and it's going to be only for people on my live streams. Uh, your new favorite tool. Um, I don't know. I would probably have to say that uh, Seam Iron, Gold Coast Flooring sent me. I really like that Taylor tool. Seam Iron is really awesome. Uh, I'd probably like it better than any seam and iron I've had thus far in my career. I always used the Oricon cool tops for many, many, for always, up until I got that little Roberts. Uh, mine went out, and as a matter of fact, I still, I never got it back. I sent it off to Oricon and never received it back. So, yeah, I guess it's probably been about a year now that it was sent off, and I done moved away from Tucson and all that good stuff. So, the one with the light, yes sir, it is a Taylor Tool Iron is the one, that, one I got. I ain't even done a whole lot of carpet since I've had it, but I still love it. Um, that, Like I said, that's probably my favorite one out of all the irons I've ever used. Uh, I always use the Oricon Cool Tops up until my Roberts. And like I said, that was just about a year ago. So um, anyway, uh, this was yes, yay, yay, yay. Awesome on that. Loving the pro knee, knee pads. Really psyched up about that. <laughs> there I come, Jared. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you again. I really appreciate Really appreciate that. <laughs> um, he done it again. He gave us another $5 there. Shout out to Jared. Yeah, and this is going to be really awesome. And I really appreciate you guys um, giving me feedback on my post whenever I ask questions because a lot of you guys do stuff that I don't do. I do uh, a lot of my stuff is is residential and stuff like that. So 
and you guys see how I do stuff in my video so on on different tools and stuff like that you guys probably use all the time that I don't have no clue about I do pretty basic stuff like I explained earlier with my oops with my uh, with my little framing square there and I cut my cut my planks with that and stuff I do pretty much stuff all old school and stuff like that so when it comes to buying new tools and stuff like that I really appreciate you guys giving me your feedback on those because I don't know a lot about that kind of stuff so again thank you Jared for your feedback on that uh, Wayne from smart floors you you responded on that and a few more of you did too I can't think right offhand uh, uh, two of you guys said this particular model right here the 673 and plus like I said it had that uh, 45 degree miter cut so I was sold as soon as I seen that I was like yeah that's the one plus it's 13 inches rather than 9 inches so I really like that anyway I don't know a whole lot else to say you guys have been on here for uh, it's been a while now uh, 35 minutes so I'm pretty much done everything I wanted to do. I really, I really, really appreciate you guys hanging out this long with me. That really helps out my channel and it helps. It just helps. So thank you guys. Yes. Yes. And I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm just taking everybody's word. So we'll find out. And as soon as I, as soon as I hear something, Thank you, Sean, for joining. I appreciate it. As soon as I use that, I'll, I'll give you some feedback on that and see how it works, the, the crane cutter there. And as soon as I wear these more, I'll see how they uh, are about walking around on your feet and stuff like that, or switching back and forth on your legs and stuff like that. Because that's one thing that people in the, in the uh, reviews would say, because they are thick and, and a little bit bulky, that they would sway back and forth on your legs whenever you try to walk. So. I'll, I'll just give you my feedback on that, I guess, and let you guys, for people that don't have them, I know most of you guys do have them, so it's probably not no new news, no new news to you guys about that, but anyway, have you tried the Butt Buddy Top Cutter? No, I haven't. I've actually seen that, uh, I've seen that, the old guy on there using that, so I ain't, I ain't never tried it, though. Uh, full-size pro knee become a part of your leg that's awesome max I'm really glad that you said that because uh, I'm forgetting the manufacturer I know exactly who you're talking about there about the butt buddy I've, I've watched his videos uh, numerous amount of times do you do you uh, do you use that Manuel yeah is that a yeah your thumbs up hey what's up buddy how's it going Ray uh, uh, more i don't i don't know if i'm saying that right or not <clears throat> but uh yeah i don't know a whole like i said i don't know a whole lot else to say uh jared i really want to tell you appreciate it for your multiple multiple um i can't even think what it's called oh super chats i've never had nobody do that before so thank you so much uh Never had nobody do it multiple times like that. <clears throat> anyway. All right. If nobody else has any more questions, I was wondering if you would do a trail on it. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Do, I'll do a trial on it. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest with you, and I hate to say this, but I don't think that it would be any count. <laughs> I've seen it and it don't look like it would be any count to me so that's why I hadn't tried it I'm only going to buy stuff and experiment with it if I feel like it's going to do good and I don't think that that would do good that's kind of like a double cutter I don't know if you guys have been around a lot of you guys I know have been around a long time uh, the guy that taught me used to use a double cutter and it had a handle on top with a fork on the bottom like this and a long blade come out the middle like that and you can push it down there and cut both your <clears throat> both pieces of your carpet at once and the butt buddy kind of reminds me of that so the double cutter was no way to go I know it had the long blade that stuck down in there and do that but uh, the flooring industry has much progressed as far as skill and stuff like that to be using that kind of stuff maybe in the 90s that would have been cool but this is not the 90s no more this is a, 
2019 floor guide. Just got a floor dot mini stretcher today for 50 bucks. Dang, that's a good deal. I've never used a, how's it going there, Jose? I've never used a mini stretcher. A uh, buddy of mine, um, Corey from, oh, actually, huh? Texas. Yeah, he's from Austin, Texas, and he uses them a lot. He actually just got, uh, the manufacturer actually just sent him a, uh, dang, I can't even think what it's called. It ain't a crab stretcher. It's got the two legs that come out like this, and then you uh, stretch in the center of it. I can't think of what the daggum thing's called. But anyway, he used to use the um, mini stretchers a lot. So, and I see him use them a lot. <clears throat> anyway, um, my battery was at 20% a few minutes ago, so I'm sure it's going to go dead here real soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. If there's no more questions, anybody else wanna uh, throw a question out there or anything before I cut out? Because my phone is going to die and I don't want it to just cut out abruptly. Again, I'll just say thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, good night and God bless. Thank you, Manuel. I appreciate that and I appreciate you asking questions and stuff like that. Thank you, uh, Smart Floors, Carpet Man, T60. Thank you for that. And Jared, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Good night. Text you in a few. Okay, cool. Thank you because I'm using my phone here for a live stream. I always do that. I'm going to have to get me a, a live streaming camera that I'll come up here or something on my TV. So I've yet to do that. <clears throat> so all my, all my live streams are from my phone there. <laughs> Night rope. Thank you. Smart floors. Thank you, Sean uh, Schultz. Appreciate it. Good night. Thank you all for tuning in. Go ahead, babe. I got one request. Um, if y'all would go check out gardening with Tracy. I know it's not floor covering, but um, that's my sister's channel. She's getting started, and she's yep. very knowledgeable about gardening. Yes. So if you would, go check her out, and yep. if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, it don't matter if you like it or not. Just hit the subscribe button. Show her some love. Last time I looked, she had uh, 16 subscribers. Let's try. Let's bring that up for her. All right, can we do that? <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Uh, I have... I need a FBSB shirt. You know what? I'm thinking about ordering some of those and putting them on my website for sale. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about that. You guys want me to put some up for sale? Let me know in the comments or whatever, okay? Appreciate it. Okay, I will say I will say her channel again. All right, thank you. Oh, um, Gardening with Tracy. As a matter of fact, I will go there right now and let you guys see... Uh, Manuel, I'll do that right now. That way you can see here. Let's see here. Uh, she's in the comments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's actually top. She's the very first comment, I think. Uh, right. Right there. Oh, let me turn it around. Right there. See the very top comment right there? Gardening with Tracy. The shirts are a good idea. Oh yeah, okay. Thank you, can I get some more feedback on that? I thought about getting uh, some swag or something like that. Maybe some, uh, shirts, hats, and stuff like that. I see it, thanks, okay, cool. Thanks Manuel for doing that, I appreciate it. So whenever I, whenever I go on there, uh, maybe tomorrow, you, uh, you're my guy, I need to support it. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, Wayne from Smart Floors. Make it cool, funny shirts, okay. Uh, you guys don't, uh, uh, would, would rather something else than just the regular, not regular work shirts. I kinda wanna, I wanna keep my logo on them. So I'll see what happens with that. I already got a company in Arizona that makes all my shirts and I've already talked to them and I can, uh, get them down halfway reasonable if I buy a whole bunch of them, like a hundred or something. So it'll be kind of pricey to buy that much, but that way I can get it at a better deal and get them to you guys cheaper. So that's what I'll try to do. Um, I'll take one. Okay. They will be for sale. I'll have to get my website set up. Shirts with your logo. Yeah, here's a few of them. There's a couple, few more different colors. See there? Uh, I'll try to do like, uh, medium, I probably won't go small, maybe medium, large, 
up to 2x, maybe 3x, because uh, whenever I did some giveaways with shirts, I actually uh, sport your shirt around my hometown, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, cool. Oh, you said you do? Uh, Manuel, you said you do sport it. Was you one that got one of my shirts here uh, last, when I did a giveaway? Or are you, are you saying that you I would? Will. Oh, okay. All right, cool. All right, cool. So looks like it looks like it'll be a go. So I'll probably just order some of those. And like I said, I'll probably go from medium. Okay, yeah, that's what I got. All my all of my work shirts are XL. And my wife's, which these are all these are women. Those are all women's. So I I don't know if I'll do any of those or not because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Might do a small few handful of women's shirts that are. Some little girly colors or something like that, but this is masculine. Yeah, I'll I'll do mostly man stuff. XL, yeah, I figured XL would probably be the most popular one, but I will go from medium up to like uh, do them. Ruben Carey will take one. Okay, all right. Sure enough, then I'll I'll get I'll do a few. I'll do a handful of women's too. Cause what, what size? Like maybe medium? To, this is a large. Okay, so these are large right here. These are large. And uh, I don't know if you want to tell your weight or not. How tall and your weight. That I, way people can see how they fit. I weigh 148. Move your hand. Quick. And I am like five five and a half to five six okay so five six and 148 and you can see the large shirts fit her so that'll give you guys some kind of idea if you if your girl wants one or whatever okay so anyway i'll buy a handful of them probably uh medium large i don't know if i should do probably medium i don't know maybe small to extra large i'll just do a few of those and um medium to 3x in the men's and i'll just do a random Medium women for carry will buy ASAP. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, thank you, Sean Schultz. I appreciate that. And I really, Sean Schultz, I went to your Facebook the other day, and I really appreciate you, buddy. I like the stuff I've seen on your channel. God bless you. I mean, on your Facebook. <laughs> uh, no, they're not 100% cotton. I buy them 50-50 polyester and 50% polyester and 50% cotton, just because it makes them thinner, it makes them feel better. They're not as heavy as cotton. They're not as thick. I, I just like the feel of that better than 100% cotton. These heather, yeah. these heather colors are thinner. Yeah, the heather is like... This heather... Kind of speckled looking. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of like a... It's thinner than this yellow. Yeah, it's almost like a, almost a faded gray or something. They're called Heather. They're, they feel better. I like them better than any of them. So I'll probably just do all of those. Okay. All right. For sure, my battery is going to go dead. So I appreciate you guys. <laughs> appreciate you guys uh, coming in. And thank you for your feedback on that. So I'll definitely get some shirts ordered. Uh, I see it works well in the summertime. Yeah, it sure does. Uh, thank you, Thomas uh, McFadden. Uh, I'm going to have smart floor shirts and I'll send you. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Manuel. Good night. God bless you. Uh, see you next time. Thanks, Ryan. Okay. Good night, Bobby. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hate goodbyes. <laughs> Thank you, T60. Appreciate that, buddy. And um, don't forget, y'all tune in on the live streams because that's when we'll be doing the giveaways. And... Thank you, Smart Floors. Again, Jared Hawkins. I appreciate you, buddy. Good night, y'all. FB.